Hey everyone, I'm AJ from Whole Latte Love with a quick video on back flushing your espresso machine. What is it? How do you do it? And how often should you? Back flushing is the process of forcing hot water and detergent back through the brew group in order to clean and remove coffee oils and residue from your group, shower screen, holding plate, and three-way valve. Whether it's a three-way solenoid like on the Bezzera BZ10 or a three-way mechanical valve like on an E61 machine, that valve is the thing that relieves excess pressure from the group after brewing, and back flushing should only be performed on machines where it is present. If you're unsure if your machine has a three-way valve or should be back flushed, please refer to your owner's manual before proceeding. Also note that some higher-end machines have an automatic back flush feature that can be initiated at the push of a button instead of going through the process I'll show in this video. I'll demonstrate on the Profitech Pro 600, but the same process applies to all machines where back flushing is recommended. All of the products and accessories I'll show and mention are available for purchase from Whole Latte Love and will be linked down below. To perform a back flush, you'll need a back flush disc, which is sometimes called a blind filter, and some Ernex Cafisa espresso machine cleaner. The process is very straightforward. You're simply going to perform five cycles with Cafisa then five cycles with just water. With your machine fully heated up, insert your back flush disc into your portafilter. If you're having trouble getting your regular filter basket out, you can pry it with the edge of your back flush disc or use a portafilter basket ejector tool. Add three grams or about half a teaspoon of Cafisa powder to your portafilter. Lock it into the group and activate your brew switch or lever for 10 seconds. During this time, pressure will build up in the system, but nothing will come out. After your 10 seconds are up, lower your lever and you'll likely see some soapy foam coming out of your relief tube and into your drip tray. Wait 5 seconds and repeat the process. Again, 10 seconds on, 5 seconds off. You may see some brown foam or liquid coming from the outlet. That's totally normal and simply the result of the back flush cleaning and dissolving coffee oils that were present in the system. You're going to repeat this cycle five times. After the fifth, remove your portafilter. You may see some soapy residue inside. Simply dump that into the drip tray or sink, rinse out the detergent and flush the group head, and insert the portafilter again. Now you're going to repeat the process five more times with just water and no detergent. Each time, 10 seconds on, 5 seconds off. As you go, you'll see the discharge becoming less soapy and more clear. Ideally, by the fifth cycle, it will be pure, clean water coming out. If you still see soap, feel free to run it a couple more times. After you're done, remove the portafilter, do one more quick flush from the group, and you're ready to brew. Some people choose to go the extra mile and brew a sacrificial shot of espresso after back flushing to make sure that everything is nice and clean inside. Note that after back flushing a machine with an E61 group head, your brew lever may become a little stiff or squeaky. That's normal and will generally resolve itself after brewing a few shots, as the coffee oils will provide some lubrication to the internal components. If it doesn't go away on its own, you may want to add a little food safe lubrication to the cam, and I'll put a link to a video showing how to do that in the description below. So how often should you be doing this? The recommended frequency will vary based on your level of use and from manufacturer to manufacturer, so it's always best to check your user manual, but here's our general rule of thumb. You should do a water back flush simply five cycles with just water and no cafisa each day when you're done brewing for the day. I'd also use this time to brush and wipe off your shower screen and group gasket. Then you'll want to do the full back flush process with detergent once a month with regular use. This is also a good time for some other routine cleaning, like soaking your portafilter and baskets in Cafisa in warm water. Following this schedule will not only have your shots tasting better, but will extend the life of your equipment. If you have any questions about back flushing, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And be sure to come back for more of the best on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole Latte Love.